In this video, we will solve a system of equations using substitution, but we will substitute rather than a number in expression. Just as we can replace a variable with a number, we can also replace it with an expression. However, whenever we substitute, it's important to remember parentheses around whatever is replaced. So for example, in this system of equations, again we see y is equal to something. It's just equal to an expression, 5x minus 3. This means the y in the other equation is also equal to that expression, 5x minus 3. So we can replace the y in that expression with 5x minus 3. This gives us negative x minus 5y, which now becomes 5x minus 3, equals negative 11. This gives us an equation we can solve by first distributing the negative 5, giving us negative x minus 25x plus 15 equals negative 11. Combining like terms gives us negative 26x plus 15 equals negative 11. Subtract 15 from both sides, and we get negative 26x is equal to negative 26. Divide both sides by negative 26, and we now know that x is equal to positive 1. However, we still need to know what y is. To find out what y is, we take this value of x we just found and plug it back into that original point where we said y equals stuff. y equals 5x minus 3. Well, x we just found out is 1 minus 3. 5 times 1 is 5 minus 3. y must equal 2. We now know our x and y, and we can express our final answer as an ordered pair, x comma y, 1 comma 2. Let's try another example where we can substitute an expression in order to find what x and y equal. In this problem, we find this x equals stuff equation. This means in the other equation that x must be the same stuff, and so we can make a substitution to replace it. 2x now becomes 2 times 5y minus 22, in parentheses, minus 6y equals negative 24. We can now solve this equation by distributing the 2, giving us 10y minus 44, minus 6y equals negative 24. Combining like terms on the y gives us 4y minus 44 equals negative 24. Adding 44 to both sides will give us 4y equals 20. Finally, dividing by 4 will isolate the y, which is equal to 5. We now know y is 5, but we still need to know what x is. We can use another substitution and go up to that x equals equation to find out what x is equal to. x is equal to 5y, or 5 times 5, because we know y is 5, minus 22. x is equal to 25 minus 22. By multiplying first, we find that x is equal to 3. We now know our x, and so as an ordered pair, x comma y, 3 comma 5 becomes our solution. By making a substitution and replacing the variable with what it represents, in parentheses, we get an equation we can solve, and then plug back in to find the other variable. 